During cost planning, the project manager and team establish a budget at completion, or BAC. The BAC is the project budget. As the project progresses, we learn more about our actual costs and project performance. This allows the team to forecast a new project budget called the Estimate at Completion, or EAC. There are actually four different formulas for the EAC, and which one you use depends on the scenario that best fits your project. The first two formulas are discussed in a separate topic. In this topic, we will discuss the third and fourth formulas for calculating the EAC. In scenario number three, we must assume poor cost performance to date and a fixed project deadline. If this is the situation with your project, you will use the one EAC formula that includes both CPI and SPI. No other EAC formula uses the SPI, so the reference to your deadline being firm is a good indicator to use this formula. Scenario 3 is the most complex scenario. For scenario number 3, you will pull the actual costs aside and add them to the following quotient. In the numerator, you will use the original BAC minus the earned value. This is another way of saying work left in the project, or what work is remaining. In the denominator, you will multiply the SPI times the CPI, which is the overall work performance to date. Once you solve for the quotient and add the actual costs, you will get the new EAC. Since this scenario is rather complex, just take a moment to review this formula. The actual cost is $700,000. The BAC is $1 million and the earned value is $550,000. If we subtract the EV from the BAC, we can determine the value of the work left in the numerator is $450,000. Next, let's multiply the CPI of 0.79 times the SPI of 0.92 to get a denominator of 0.7268. If we divide the numerator of $450,000 by the denominator of 0.7268, we get $619,152. Don't forget to add the actual cost of $700,000. That gives us a new EAC of $1,319,152. Don't worry too much about rounding and whether to round to two decimal places or more. That will not significantly significantly impact your answer. In scenario number four, we realize that our original BAC was flawed. We either planned poorly or so many things have changed that we can't use the BAC as a foundation for new estimates. We basically need an opportunity to reboot the budget plan. However, we are already in the middle of project work, so we must consider some data and tools that we already have available. Consider the work breakdown structure. We further decomposed it into activities and we estimated the cost of these activities. Now that we are in the middle of project work, some of the activities are completed, some are in progress, and some have not yet begun. We spent money on these activities. Can you think of one way we might consider the money we've already spent along with the remaining work yet to be done? Can we use that information to establish a new EAC? You may pause the video at any time to determine the answer, and then resume the video when you're ready to hear the correct answer. If you said something like, we should consider our actual costs so far, and then add the estimated cost for the remaining activities, you would be right. For this scenario, the correct formula for the EAC is to take the actual cost and add the estimate to complete for the remaining activities. If an activity is in progress, you would count both the actual cost for the work completed so far and the estimate to complete that activity. Let's try this example. Our original budget for this project was $35,000 but we already have $21,500 in actual costs, and it is clear that our original estimates were incorrect. The remaining activities have been estimated using updated information. Activity A is already complete, and the actual cost was $12,000. We will not include Activity A in our ETC, or Estimate to Complete, since there is no remaining work for this activity. 
Activity B is now estimated at $10,000 and is 50% complete. We are counting $5,000 for the completed work in our actual costs, but we will also have to count 50% of the $10,000 yet to be completed for this activity. Therefore, the ETC for Activity B is $5,000. Activity C is estimated at $8,000 and is 25% complete. Activity D is estimated at $5,000 and is 50% complete. And Activity E is $10,000 and has not been started. Take a moment to perform a bottom-up estimate of these activities to determine what the ETC should be. Then add the ETC to the actual cost to determine the EAC. Feel free to pause the video at any time and resume when you're ready. Did you get a new EAC of $45,000? You first aggregate the actual costs for each activity to come up with the overall actual cost of $21,500. Then you aggregate the estimate to complete each activity to come up with a bottom-up ETC of $23,500. Add the actual cost to the ETC, and you should come up with an EAC of $45,000. In summary, an Estimate at Completion, or EAC, is a new budget forecast based on what we have learned and experienced with our project to date. We have covered the remaining two of the four possible scenarios for determining the EAC.